Hey guys, it's John from Physical Living, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about an aspect of success that will make or break your success. And for me, um, was something that I didn't fully understand, and maybe I still don't fully understand, but I have a much better understanding of it now more than ever. And I realized that this was something that was preventing me from succeeding at something um, that I had wrestled with, struggled with, like labored to achieve for the past several years, like five or six years, I've been trying to achieve this goal and failing over and over and over again, just like crashing and burning after a few days or a few weeks and so frustrating and discouraging and I couldn't get to the bottom of what is going on here because in my mind I thought I was doing everything right, you know, because I had a good plan and good goals and support and accountability and all the little aspects of success, I had covered it because I've done this before. This isn't my first rodeo. I know how to succeed. Um, but it was this one little piece of the puzzle that I was missing in this in this case, and it's something that I, I've I've heard before, I've read before, over and over again, and I understood it in concept and theory, but I hadn't put it into practice in this kind in, in this case, and it was right under my nose the whole time, and, and this one little thing undermined all my efforts. It was it was getting to the point of absurdity. Like I literally lost count how many times I had failed to achieve this goal. I told my wife, "Hey babe, I'm gonna be." Uh, pursuing this goal again, just thought I'd let you know, and she'd roll her eyes like, oh my gosh, how long is it going to last this time, and and I'd do good for a couple days, couple weeks, whatever, and then I'd crash and burn, you know, it was just, it, it got to the point of being ridiculous, and I couldn't figure out what the problem was, once I figured out what the problem was, this little tiny thing that I was missing, uh, everything changed, and all of a sudden, bam, achieved my goal, like that, it, and it was easy, you know, and, and so I wanted to share this with you, um, in hopes that it will be helpful to you. Um, so I'll just spell it out as simply as I can. Um, and maybe this will go over your head. Maybe this will be like, uh-huh, yeah, I know that. You know, tell me something I don't know. Um, but I hope that uh, it is something that helps you. So everybody knows that you got to believe in yourself if you want to succeed at anything. It sounds cliche. It is cliche, um, but it's true. And similarly, if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to succeed at anything except by pure dumb luck. It's certainly not going to be anything that uh, you did. You got to have that basic level of faith in yourself, self-confidence, uh, belief. If you don't have that belief, um, it's just not going to happen. Most people also understand that there are different degrees of belief in yourself and self-confidence. So on one side of the spectrum, you have people who they, they have very little self-confidence. I can't do that. I've tried and failed. That's just not who I am. I can't do it. Um, and they're on the, the very little faith in themselves or the no faith in themselves spectrum. And then you have people over here who have a lot of faith in themselves. Um, they think, I can do anything that I put my mind to. Um, and they may, may even take a step further, like, my success is inevitable. It's my destiny. You know, I can't, I can't fail. Um, and of course, we all want to be over here, you know, having this, this super amount of uh, confidence in ourselves and our ability. Um, and just in, in, our, in, in what we can do in life. Um, so, with that in mind, there's a difference between believing you can do something and believing you will do something. Um, and believing you can do something refers to your ability. I can lose 100 pounds. I can, you know, d double my strength. I can improve this relationship. I can grow my business. That refers to your ability. And, and a lot of people have a, be a belief that they can do something. Um, but when you take it a step further and believe that you will do something, that's the next step up the rung, but it's not the last step. Um, believing that you will do something refers to not just your ability, but your intention. You know, I'm going to do this. This is going to happen. This is important to me. Not only can I do this, I'm going to do this. Um, and for a lot of people and a lot of goals, as I look back on my, my life and uh, my experience and working with other people, um, this is often enough. Believing that you can and will do something is often enough to achieve your goals. And thank goodness, because uh, there have been a lot of times when that's where I've been stuck at. I believe I can, I believe I will, and eventually you achieve your goal. But that's not the last step on the ladder. There, there's another step beyond that. And that, this is what was the little, the key to my success, or, and the key to all my failures was that I was missing this. And that is that similarly to how there's a difference between believing you can do something and that you will do something, there's a difference between believing that you will do something and that you are doing something. That this is who you are, that I am doing this, and it becomes a matter of your identity. This is who I am, and this is happening. Um, that's, that's the ultimate expression of self-confidence. I'm doing this. 
It's happening, no matter what. Not just that I can, not just that I will, but that it is happening. And this kind of, it transcends um, faith in yourself. It, it, it turns, it changes from a belief into a knowing, just this quiet assurance of this is happening. And it's, it's a subtle change. It's a subtle change in the verbiage. It's a subtle change in your mindset, but it can have profound effects. I've, I've found it has had a profound effect on my ability to achieve this goal. It's like ding, 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 aha, the light bulb went off. This is what was missing. It was right under my nose. I, I believed that I could do this. I even believed that I would do this. And I, every single time I'd restart and, and go through this process of, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this this time. Um, and I believe that I can. I believe that I will. But I didn't have that quiet assurance that this is happening. I'm doing this. And that made all the difference for me. So I just wanted to say that to um, inform you and encourage you. And I hope it was helpful. Um, so thank you for watching.